Pulilan, officially the municipality of Pulilan, Tagalog, Bayan ng Pulilan, is a first-class municipality in the province of Bulacan, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 97,323 people. The town is famous for its Carabao Festival where Carabaos are paraded and kneel as they pass through San Isidro Labrador Parish Church, in honor to the town's patron saint, San Isidro Labrador. Many years ago, Pulilan was primarily a little-known rural town in the northern part of Bulacan where its economy heavily dependent on farming and poultry raising. Most of the population committed their entire lives on farming as their livelihood. Today, the town is moving towards commercialization and industrialization as it is becoming one of the major growth rate area and center of commerce and industry in the province. Because of the major economic growth, due to presence of commercial establishments, real estates, industrial plants and major road projects. Pulilan has experienced increased in the total gross income in the past few years. The town's income in year 2016 was P323.86 million, an increase of P69.27 million from its previous income in 2014. It surpassed the income of 15 municipalities in Bulacan such as San Miguel, Bacaui, Plaridel, Haganoy and Calumpit. With the continuous expansion of Metro Manila, the municipality is now included in Manila built-up area which reaches San Ildefonso in its northernmost part. Etymology In the beginning, Pulilan is neither its name nor a town. History has it that the place is a marshy or swampland which forms part of Pampanga, along the Candaba Bay. Because of the vastness of its area, Pulilan was created out of the districts of Baliwag and Quingua now Plaridel, and coming from the Pampango word, Kingwa, meaning on the other side of the shore or Kabiling Ibeo. In 1794, the place was named San Isidro by the missionary Augustinian friars in honor of San Isidro Labrador, the patron saint of the farmers. On January 20, 1796, it was called Pulilan. There are no written records how the place is named Pulilan. But legend has it that is derived from Pulo ng Ilan, literally, clusters of small communities or isles. According to Antun Postma in his The Laguna Copperplate Inscription, LCI, a valuable Philippine document. This copperplate with inscription discovered at Limbong River near the Laguna Lake area in Laguna dates back to 900 AD. In this inscription was mentioned the name Puliran, as the old name for southeastern lake area. The toponyms or place names Puliran is Pulilan, Bulacan and Pulilan is in Laguna de Bay. However, Mr. Postma is convinced in his studies that Pulilan in the LCI is the Pulilan along the Angat River, in the province of Bulacan, north of Manila. History the first time Pulilan was settled was unknown but if existing records of the towns of Calumpit and Baliwag, between which the town lies, be made a basis, it could be deduced that in the early part of the 17th century it could have had a sprinkling of settlers. However, the ancient town of Pulilan was first documented as Puliran in the Laguna Copperplate Inscription, a pre-colonial Philippine document written in 900 AD. The native population at the time of the document were ruled by the sovereign Lord Ka Sumuran. See Laguna Copperplate Inscription. During Spanish regime, an Augustian fray, Fray Vicente Villamanzaro, was made to declare the settlement of a town on January 20, 1796. It was assigned a patron saint, San Isidro Labrador, after whose name he wanted the town identified. On this time, the head of the town was called Capitan. It was only in 1819 that Pulilan has as its first capitan, Capitan Francisco Paltao. In 1898, the first Presidente Municipal was Froilan Cahiwit. In 1904, when Anacleto Batongbacal was the Presidente Municipal, Pulilan was annexed to Quingua and became its sitio. In 1908, as the Pulilanos rallied behind the candidacy of their son Adriano Salvador, he was elected Presidente Municipal of Quinqua. Then in 1909, representations were made by Eugenio Tianco, Hilario Esguera, Adriano Salvador and others with Governor Teodoro Sandico to separate Pulilan from Quingua. It was granted. Pulilan then became a town, with Eugenio Tianco as its presidente. In 1946, Catalino Flores was appointed as the first mayor of Pulilan. 
From the Spanish time to American occupation and lately the Japanese era, many sons of the town of Pulilan shed their blood. After a long march to freedom, Pulileno started to build from its small beginnings and from then on made a great stride in politics, economy, social standing and in other fields. The influence of the Spanish, American and Japanese occupations, have in a measure, contributed to the promotion of their welfare, but the Pulileños, as they are known, treasure their great heritage. San Isidro Labrador or Saint Isidore the Laborer, the patron saint of the farmers, is the patron saint of the town as well. The traditional date of his liturgical feast, which through not included in the general Roman calendar has been celebrated for centuries in several countries and dioceses is May 15. However, it is in the 14th day of May that Pulileños people of Pulilan celebrate the feast in honor of their saint by parading carabaos and making them kneel in front of the church as a sign of respect for their patron saint of farmers. Also included in the parade are cows, horses, street folk dancers, marching bands and floats of commercial establishments of the town. Geography Topography Pulilan is one of the 21 towns of Bulacan Province, located in about its center from north to south. It lies 50 kilometers northwest of Manila, the capital city of the country and 20 kilometers 31 miles away from the Malolos, the capital of the province. It has an area of about 4,073 hectares 40.73 sq. kilometers. It is bounded on the north by Apalit in Pampanga, on the east by Baliwag, on the south by Plaridel, and on the west by Calumpit. The Angat River cutting its way through the eastern edge of Baliwag, and the southern fringes of Pulilan down to the tributary of Manila Bay southwest of Calumpit, serves as the boundary with Plaridel. The municipality is generally of flat topography. Eleven, eleven of its barangays are bounded by the Angat River. The rest are flat irrigated rice lands. Soil types vary from sandy loam to clay loam which makes the municipality suitable to a wide range of agricultural products. Most of the barangays in Pulilan have low susceptibility to flooding. Those portion with moderate to high susceptibility to flooding are barangays that are near or adjacent to creeks that are tributaries of the Angat River and barangays that are low-lying such as Dulong Malabon and Anan. Land use most of the existing municipal land use area is for agricultural purposes, about 27.92 square kilometers, 10.78 square miles, or 68.55% of the town's land area is primarily for crop production. While the 12.8076 square kilometers, 4.95 sq me, or 31.45% of available land is dedicated for residential, commercial, industrial and institutional purposes. Climate Based on the Köppen climate classification system, the climate is tropical in Pulilan. During most months of the year, there is significant rainfall in Pulilan. There is only a short dry season. According to Köppen and Geiger, this climate is classified as AM. The temperature here averages 27.2 degrees Celsius. The average annual rainfall is 2,328 mm. The driest month is February. There is 11 mm of precipitation in February. Most precipitation falls in July, with an average of 501 mm. With an average of 29.2 degrees Celsius, May is the warmest month. In January, the average temperature is 25.5 degrees Celsius. It is the lowest average temperature of the whole year. The precipitation varies 490 mm between the driest month and the wettest month. The average temperatures vary during the year by 3.7 degrees Celsius. Barangays Pulilan is politically subdivided into 19 barangays. The biggest barangay in terms of land area is Dulong Malabon while the most populated barangay is Poblacion and the least populated barangay is Sta. Peregrina. All of the barangays in the municipality is administrated by its duly elected barangay captain. The barangay captain is aided by the Sangguniang Barangay, barangay council, whose members, seven barangay kagawad, councillors, are also elected. On the other hand, Sangguniang Kabatan, SK council represent the youth in each barangay. Population 
Land area Demographics the municipality's population grew twice by 49,124 from 48,199 in 1990 to 97,323 in 2015. The continuous increase in the population of Pulilan may not only be attributed to growing population of the natives but also to the influx of migrants from nearby places. In the 2015 census, the population of Pulilan, Bulacan, was 97,323 people, with a density of 2,400 inhabitants per square kilometer or 6,200 inhabitants per square mile. Ethnic groups the original settlers and natives in Pulilan are primarily Tagalog people, one of the most widespread groups of people in the Philippines. Several Kapampangans also started settling here before. The municipality is currently experiencing influx of migrants by being a part of the Greater Manila Area (GMA), so there is also a considerably minor population of Baikalano, Ilocano, Alongo, Pangasinense, and Visayans. Languages. Like other places in Luzon, the most spoken language in Pulilan is Tagalog. Some of its residents speak and use Kapampangan language due to its proximity to the province of Pampanga. However, in schools and other institutions, English and Tagalog are alternately used as medium of instruction. Literacy In 2008, the total number of households are 17,002. 99% of the total number of household members are literate. They are able to read and write a simple message in any language or dialect. Religion Catholicism Like other municipalities in the Philippines, majority of the inhabitants of Pulilan are adherents of the Catholic Church. This is evident by their strong faith and devotion to the town's patron saint, San Isidro Labrador. Each barangay and sitio has their own respective chapel where they perform their mass and other liturgical services. The San Isidro Parish Church is the only parish church in the municipality and it is under the jurisdiction of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Malolos. Iglesia ni Cristo Iglesia ni Cristo also holds a strong presence in the municipality by establishing worship centers in Barangay Cutcot, Dampal 2nd A, Anon and Santo Cristo. These locales are included in the ecclesiastical district of Bulacan North. Others other religious groups represented include the following, Members Church of God International, Ang Dating Don, Jesus is Lord Church, Baptist, Jehovah's Witness, Methodist and other evangelical groups. Government Just as the national government, the municipal government of Pulilan is divided into three branches which are the executive, legislative and judiciary. The local government units LGUs, have control of the executive and legislative branch. While the judicial branch is administrated solely by the Supreme Court SC. The executive branch is composed of the mayor and barangay captain for the barangay. The legislative branch is composed of the Sanguinang Bayan town council, and Sanguinang barangay, barangay council. The council is in charge of creating the municipality's policies in the form of ordinance and resolution. The mayor is the executive head and leads the municipal department in executing ordinances and improving public services. The vice mayor heads a council consisting of 10 members, 8 councillors and 2 ex officio members, ABC president and SK federation president. Current officials here is the list of the elected officials of the municipality of Pulilan. Maritz Ochoa Montejo is the first female mayor of Pulilan and one of the few female officials in the Philippine government while Ricardo Candido, a then councillor, won as the new vice mayor in a tight race over his closest rival Dr. Carlo Castillo, son of the former vice mayor Elpidio Castillo. Five of the current councillors of Pulilan are from Liberal Party while the two other councillors are from PDP Laban and one councillor ran as an independent candidate. Past officials Barangay officials 
These barangay captains and SK chairpersons will only serve for two two years because of Republic Act 10952, which reset the barangay and youth council polls in May 2018. The next election is set in May 2020, and after this, the polls will be every three three years again. Official seal. The official seal of the municipality of Pulilan serves as the town's identity for many years. Each of the symbols incorporated into this emblem represents the glorious past of the town and its culture and traditions. It includes the following The Kneeling Carabao, is where the town is famous of. Every 14 May, the Feast of the Kneeling Carabao is celebrated as a festival and at the same time a thanksgiving for their ever-guiding patron Saint San Isidro Labrador. San Isidro Labrador Parish Church, the home of the town's patron saint. This is the religious center of the town where religious activities, particularly worship services are held. Rice fields, one of the major source of income in the municipality. Nipa hut, the ancient house or residence of most of the Pulileños. Mango tree, are abundant in the town and one of the major industry here. Bamboo pieces, it serve as the border of the emblem. It also represents how Pulileños are resilient and optimistic in their life. Economy The municipality of Pulilan has basically an agri-based economy. Farming, fishing, swine and poultry raising were the dominant economic industries and livelihood of the natives of the town. Structural change in the economy become evident due to the rapid rate of urbanization characterized by increasing encroachment of industries and manufacturing establishments on productive agricultural land of the municipality. Now, the municipality is known as one of the emerging center of trade and commerce in the province of Bulacan and continuously outshining its neighboring municipality. According to the 2017 COA Annual Financial Report, the municipality has an annual income of 383.60 million, 59.74 million or 18% higher than its previous income. Making it one of the richest municipality in Bulacan and central Luzon. The major income sources in the municipality comes from flowers, ornamental plants, food, food processing, garments and embroidery, gifts, house decors, marble, marble processing, poultry and hog raising, furnitures, crop production and services. Agriculture Rice production and livestock poultry raising are the most common agribusiness in Pulilan. In 2,226.75 hectares or 5,502.42 acres irrigated area planted, 10,660.25 metric tons of rice are produced. While 65,470 swine and chickens are produced in 12 commercial farms, poultries and 638 swine are raised in 86 backyard farm. Banking there are 12 major and local commercial banks that provide financial services in the municipality. Some of these are the following, Banco de Oro, BDO, Metrobank, Landbank, Philippine Savings Bank, PS Bank, Rizal Commercial Banking Corporation, RCBC, and Bank of Florida, BOF. As of December 2017, Pulilan recorded a total deposits of 4.048 billion pesos by adding the demand, now deposits, savings deposits, time deposits and FCDU deposits. The municipality also has 30,785 registered accounts from its 12 banks. Car dealerships Recently, Suzuki established its first car dealership branch in Pulilan. Later, Mazda and Subaru also joined the competition. All of these are situated along Pan-Philippine Highway in Barangay Santo Cristo. Industry and trade Manufacturing is a dominant business and source of income and employment in the municipality. In 2010, there are 26 registered manufacturing businesses in Pulilan with 4,136 employees. 
The biggest manufacturers include the following, Nestle Philippines Tivag, New Hope Agriculture Inc. Tivag, Anderson Asphalt Philippines Tivag, Feedmix Specialist, Dampal 2nd A, Foster Foods Inc., Dampal 2nd A, Leyden Contractors Asia Tivag, Marquis Mills Manufacturing Corp., Dampal 2nd B, Tyson Agro Ventures, Tinajero, Jockers Food Industry, Santo Cristo, TJN Pasalubong, Paltao, Cargill Philippines, Inc., Dampal 1st, RM Foods, Dampal 2nd B, and Rombi, Dampal 1st. These manufacturing establishments are mostly situated in Dampal Industrial Area DIA, and the Taban Dampal Tibag Industrial Area TDTIA. Shopping malls In 2010, Robinson's Supermarket, later renamed as Robinson's Townville, started to operate in Barangay Cutcot, in front of Pulilan Public Market. Masway Supermarket also established its branch in Barangay Santo Cristo and in 2017 SM Center was inaugurated in a 27,000 SQM lot in Barangay Santo Cristo along Pulilan Plaridel Diversion Road, making it the very first full-service shopping mall in the municipality. Tourism Tourism is one of the emerging industry in the municipality of Pulilan. Every year, thousands of tourists visited this magnificent town. Most of the tourists come to witness the Kneeling Carabao Festival wherein the town is prominent. It is a bountiful occasion where different kinds of buffaloes such as carabaos led the parade in the streets of the town together with the street dancers, marching bands and colorful floats. When they reach the church, they kneel in front of it as giving respect to their saint. This spectacular yet remarkable festivity is held every 14 May, one day before the Feast of San Isidro Labrador, the town's patron saint. This is not only a tribute on their patron saint but also to the Carabaos for their hard work during farming season. This festival is also a celebration for a year-long bountiful harvest. Pulilan is not only well known for its festival but also famous because of numerous tourist attractions located in the vicinity of the town. Historical and religious edifices San Isidro Labrador Parish Church San Isidro Labrador Parish Church is where the Carabaos during the feast are made kneel as tribute to the their patron saint. This is a 19th-century Baroque church located at the Cabayanon or the town's administrative center, Poblacion. It is also a famous pilgrimage site in Bulacan during the Holy Week or Quaresma. The Museo San Isidro Labrador is also situated here. For more information, see San Isidro Labrador Church. Pulilan Municipal Trial Court Museo de Pulilan is the new name of Pulilan Municipal Trial Court after it was restored in 2013. It is also known by the locals as the former Gabaldon building located in Barangay Poblacion near the Municipal Hall compound. Now, it is one of the famous tourist destinations not only in the municipality but in the whole province of Bulacan because of its cultural and historical features. Inside this museum are different sculptures, paintings and old documents about the flourishing history of the town. Adriano Salvador Heritage House It is dubbed as the Malacañang of Pulilan. In 1908 this historical house served as the joint municipal of two ancient towns of Quingua Plaridel, and San Isidro Pulilan. Casanova Aguirre Ancestral House This ancestral house is one of the most well-preserved old house in Bulacan. It is situated near the boundaries of Barangay Poblacion and Lumbac. This is a famous tourist spot in the entire town because of its preserved beauty and scenic view. It is also known as the site of the 2006 Filipino romantic film, Moments of Love, starring Iza Calzado and Dingdong Dantes. Aguirre Centennial House This centennial house is located inside the Butterfly Haven Resort and one of the main tourist attraction inside the resort because of its unique and distinct architecture. This 100-year-old house is owned by the family of Revenue Deputy Commissioner Lita Aguirre. Mandala Art Festival Mandala Art Festival is an annual gathering of visual artists and cultural workers from various parts of the country every month of May as part of Pulilan Town Fiesta. 
This cultural event showcases the best artistic skills and traditions of central Luzon. During this occasion, several exhibitions are open to the public and mural painting activities Cali art in different locations around municipality are held. This has been led by Jefarca Arts and Historical Society Inc., National Commission for Culture and the Arts NCCA, Museo de Pulilan and the Municipality of Pulilan since its inception in 2012. The word mandala is based on a local term meaning, the best of the harvest. Infrastructure Transportation Pulilan can be accessed through private vehicles, jeepneys, tricycles, and even buses. Public utility jeepneys PUJs, are stationed at Robinson's Townville Terminal which have routes passing through Pulilan Regional Road or N115 of the Philippine Highway Network and several barangays to Lumbac, Dampal 2nd B, Kamachile, and to its neighboring town of Calumpit. Tricycles, on the other hand, serve the interiors of barangays and residential areas. Bus and UV Express are also common mode of transportation in the municipality. Buses and UV Express transport passengers in Pulilan to and from Grace Park, Divisoria, Monumento, and Cubao in Metro Manila. They commonly pick commuters along Pulilan Junction and in SM Center Pulilan Terminal. Several taxis also transport passengers from Metro Manila to Pulilan. Road networks North Luzon Expressway NLEX, is the only expressway in Pulilan which passes through the municipality with two entrances and exits in Barangay Tibag. Main national highways include the Pan-Philippine Highway or commonly called as Maharlika Highway, part of AH-26, Pulilan to Baliwag, which passes through Barangay Santo Cristo, Cutcot and Longos. Other arterial roads include Pulilan Regional Road, N-115, Pulilan to Calumpit, Pulilan Plaridel Diversion Road which is connected to Plaridel Bypass Road, Old Cagayan Valley Road and Pulilan Apalit Road. Currently, Pulilan Baliwag Diversion Road or commonly referred to as Pulilan Bypass Road is under construction. It is expected to alleviate the humongous traffic congestion in Pan-Philippine Highway and Pulilan Regional Road and spur further developments in the municipality. This 9.62-kilometer diversion road will transverse the barangays of Tibag, Dulong Malabon, Tabon, Peñabatan, Sta. Peregrina, and Balatong B and ends in Barangay Tarkan in Baliwag. The project has a multi-year funding from the Department of Public Works and Highways DPWH, infrastructure program amounting to 582 million Philippine pesos for civil works and 150 million Philippine pesos for road right-of-way acquisition. Utilities Power and water supply The Manila Electric Company Maralca, is the sole company that provides electric services in Pulilan. All the 19 barangays have supply of electricity already. In 2003, 63.65 million kilowatt-hours of power is being consumed by the municipality. The water system and services of Pulilan is provided by LWUA Local Water Utilities Administration through the Pulilan Water District in which its office is situated in Barangay Cutcot. The municipality will also be a beneficiary of P24.4 billion Bulacan Bulk Water Supply Project BBWSP, as it will soon provide additional water supply to its water district, communication services Philippine Long Distance Telephone Company PLDT, Digital Telecommunications Philippines DIGITEL, Smart Communications and DATELCOM are the main landline telephone service provider in Pulilan while the three major cellular companies here are Smart Communications, Globe Telecom and Sun Cellular. Telegraph and Express Mail services are being provided by the Municipal Post Office in Barangay Poblacion and private companies like LBC, Western Union, etc. Social services Education Education had been a priority in Pulilan. It is evidently shown in having a literacy rate of 
The number of households that are literate is 16,832 out of 17,002, which are able to read and write a simple message in any language or dialect. Pulilan also had become an educational hub within the province. As it hosts numerous public and private owned school where many of its constituents and neighboring locals went to study. As of 2016, there are 16 public schools in Pulilan. Several private schools can also be found in the municipality, most of which offers primary and secondary education. There are also five tertiary institutions in the municipality. In 2013, Bulacan State University Bulsa, was established in Barangay Paltao where it started to operate an extension program aligned in education courses. While Polytechnic University of the Philippines PUP, resides in the former Municipal Hall building in Barangay Poblacion. There are also technical, vocational schools and training centers here. The private schools in Pulilan are members of Bulacan Private Schools Association On the other hand, all primary and secondary schools in the municipality are under the supervision of Department of Education DEPT, Schools Division of Bulacan. Health as of 2010, there are 25 medical facilities as well as two government-operated rural health units that provide healthcare services in the municipality. Three of which are hospitals and that include the following, Our Lady of Mercy General Hospital OLMGH, in Longos, the Good Shepherd Hospital in Poblacion and FM. Cruz Orthopedic and Gen. Hospital in Santo Cristo. Several clinics can also be found in the municipality. Peace and order in the area of peace and order, Pulilan is one of the more peaceful towns in the province. The crime rate is very minimal. Pulilan has a crime solution efficiency of 90.90% and an average crime rate of 1.8. It ranks third in the crime solution and in peace and order in Bulacan. As of 2010, the municipality is being served by 30 policemen and 9 firemen. Notable Pulileños Mika Reyes is a Filipino volleyball player. She is a middle hitter, blocker and is currently playing in the semi-professional league in the Philippines. Aurelio Plamenco is a politician and then mayor of Pulilan. He became the vice governor of Bulacan in 1995 to 2004 under the leadership of then governor, Josie de la Cruz. Charlene San Pedro is a Filipino actress and BJ. She made her first television appearance at the age of four when she joined ABS-CBN's talent search Star Circle Quest, Kids Edition in 2004. Jamie Rivera, is a pop singer from the Philippines and also known as the inspirational diva. Florentino Calance, was a Filipino poet who was among the writers who spearheaded a revival of interest in Tagalog literature in the Philippines in the 20th century. He was also called as the King of Balagtazan. Gloria Dizon Coronel, is one of the country's premier sopranos. She is also a voice mentor at the University of Santo Tomas Conservatory. Brigido Batingbackel, is an award-winning Filipino writer. He received the Gawad Dangal Ni Balagtas, the highest recognition for a writer, from the Comasayan Sa Wiking Filipino KWF, in 1989 because of his contributions in Philippine literature. Sister Cities Dingalan, Aurora C. Also San Isidro Labrador Church Laguna Copperplate Inscription Pulilan Regional Road Angat River Gallery References External links Media related to Pulilan at Wikimedia Commons www.pulilan.gov PH Pulilan Bulacan Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Commission on Audit